In this video, we're going to talk about the Modbus TCP server block. First thing we're going to do is go to the PLC Next store, and then we're going to go ahead and grab the Modbus TCP library. Found here. If you plan on using the simulator with Modbus, you will need to make a quick change. Under Program Files, Phoenix Contact, PLC Next Engineer Simulation, Images, AXCF 1152, 2022.0.0. There's a comp file. If you open this comp file, this is where the port forwards are. So this line here is the port forwards. We had to add this section. So all we're doing is taking 502 and moving it to port 3502. So you'll have to remember that when you go to interrogate your Modbus device that it's not at the standard Modbus port of 502. It's been moved to 3502. When you're done, save the file and then you can launch the container. I already have an Axio Line 1152 simulation program started, so I'm just going to use that. So the first thing we're going to do after you download the libraries is we're going to add the library to the project. You're going to right click on libraries, add user library, you're going to find where you stuck it. All right, now that that library is loaded in here on the right hand side, we'll close this up. We'll go to programming. We'll go to my main program. Add a ladder diagram because it's easier to see what you're doing sometimes. We're going to go ahead and go over here to the Modbus TCP functions and function blocks. And we're going to add the Modbus TCP server. All right, now that the block is in there, we're just going to start making variables. Now that we have the arrays defined, the only other thing that you really need with this block is the activate and the auto acknowledge. The timeout is preset to 500 milliseconds. The auto acknowledge just allows the block to be reset automatically if an error occurs. So I usually set that to true. And I create a bit for activate. And I go ahead and go to my variables worksheet and make activate initially true. Now that the server block is set up, we're just going to put some data in there so we can watch it. I already have this count code made. So I'm going to take Modbus. I'm going to take the holding registers. I'm going to go for register zero. And since Count is an integer. I need to get that to a word first. So I'm going to go to word. We're going to put count in there. Now, as the counter counts up, the Modbus holding register is going to change. Now we need to write our project to the controller. We're going to right click on the controller. We're going to go right and start project. Now that we've downloaded and started our project, you can see that the counter is currently counting. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up QModMaster. Now I use QModMaster. There are many other options out there. This option happens to be free. So all we're going to do is we're going to set it up for Modbus TCP. The, mod, the IP address is always going to be 127.0.0.1. That's an internal loopback for your own PC. If you notice, we're not using the standard 502 port, but the 3502 from our earlier change to the configuration file. Now that QMod Master is set up, let's connect. 
We're going to connect to the controller. We have a valid connection. We're going to use function code 3, read holding registers. We're only going to read one register, and our starting address is going to be 0. We're going to go ahead and start scanning. And now this number and this number, every 2.5 seconds or so, will equal each other. 